Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outside and we're going to read Hey Dougie. Good night, Dougie. And I know it's bright out, but I thought it'd be more fun to read outside. We have these yellow dandelions and I'm going to wait for a, a buzzing bee to come by. They're busy right now um, collecting nectar. And look, Dougie is in bed. He's going to have a little nap as I read this story to him. And then I also have a toy that was mine as a child. It would hang like this and it plays peekaboo. And I pull the cord and you'll hear a song. See if you recognize the song. Have you guessed yet? It's the song, London Bridge is falling down, falling down. And as the music slows, the chord gets smaller as it gets wound back into the little, I guess he would be a clown. Well, if you watch very closely, you will see the string moving inside of his body. Okay, let's get back to our story. Good night, Dougie. It's a very noisy day at the clubhouse. Boing, boing, bang, bang, spin, spin, boom, boom, vroom, woof. Dougie thinks it's definitely time for a glass of milk shout the squirrels excitedly. Betty, Happy, Nori, Tag, and Rolly slurp down their milk. They yawn. They look very sleepy now. Perhaps now it's time for the squirrels to rest. Dougie has an idea. He grabs his banjo and some books. Then he gets all the cushions and teddies and makes some cozy beds for the squirrels to sleep in. Squirrels, it's nap time! The squirrels come running over and snuggle in. Dougie plays a lullaby on the banjo and tells the squirrels to sleep well. Dougie! shouts Tag. We haven't got a badge today. Dougie thinks for a moment, then points to his sleeping badge. A woof! Yay! Everyone cheers. They all want a sleeping badge. Dougie reads the squirrels a book about sleeping. Then it's time to sleep. Dougie! shouts Nori. We can't sleep. It's light outside. Dougie says that bats sleep when it's light, and they sleep hanging upside down. The squirrels turn themselves upside down. But they can't sleep upside down. Dougie explains how some animals sleep standing up. The squirrels all stand up. Dougie shows them a picture of two sleeping sea otters holding hands. The squirrels try holding hands, but they can't sleep holding hands. Dougie explains how koalas cling to trees and sleep, but the squirrels don't have any trees so they all cling on to Dougie. <sighs> Yawns Dougie. He starts to close his eyes, tells the squirrels to sleep well again. But the squirrels don't reply because they've fallen asleep in a great big Dougie hug. The squirrels whisper in their sleep. Beep, beep. The squirrels' parents arrive and everyone wakes up. We got our sleeping badges, the squirrels say. There's just time for one last thing. Good night, Dougie!
try the squirrels. And just as we end our story, I can hear a buzzing bee, tiny fans. Oh, how exciting. Bees are really good for our earth and we need to take care of them. I don't like using any sort of chemicals or pesticides anywhere on my property because it can kill the bees. We need the bees for our fruit and vegetables to grow and they collect pollen. It either collects on their hairy bodies or their legs. I think this bee is collecting nectar. Bees use their long straw-like tube tongues to suck the nectar out of the flower and store it in their honey stomachs. Ooh, look, tiny fans, there's a wasp on my toy. And don't worry, we leave the wasp alone, it will leave us alone. Wasps are important too because they also pollinate. <coughs> Shh! Oh, Ducky's sleeping. Let's go inside and see what the kids are up to. Oh, boy. Kitty is in the school desk. Silly kitty. She loves to fit into tight places. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.